Voila! The vessel's a few centimeters deep and empty. There are some brown stains on the bottom. Coffee. Ooh, We've got to make this coffee. must be the ominous machine which is reputed to have a ghost living in it. The vessel at its base must be for fuel. The statue has small holes in its nose, and it appears that the mouth could be opened. Hello? You in there? Ghost? Give me beans for your draft. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> mighty ghost in the machine. Give me the beans for your delicious, godly draft. Let's look at it this way. If you don't give me the beans, then I won't be able to prepare your stupid draft, and that won't be of any use to anyone. <laughs> By the way, coffee. Coffee, really? Let's make some coffee. ground to powder. That's it. <laughs> Very well. Hmm. The water's turning brown. And it smells... Mmm. Lovely. That's the fuel for the machine sorted. We made coffee. And woe betide of this whole effort's in vain. Uh, There's hello? a monkey in there. You there, ghost. I have to find the secret cellar. Will you help me? There's a monkey. Clever mechanism. Oh, well, we put the shield there. I have no idea. I'm ready. So we'll find out later. The legendary secret cellar. The cellar continues oh, probably for on some behind light. these bars. I can't see anything, but I bet that the book's in there somewhere. So many things. There are three stone figures by the bars. Each one of them has a precious stone in it. This one here has an emerald. The spider has an emerald on its back. Green. This figure looks a bit like a dog. One of its eyes is a large ruby. This figure looks a bit like a... This bird has an eye made out of a blue precious stone. I think it's a sapphire. Yeah. Guess even a secret garden cellar shears. is in the end just a cellar. And all cellars have gardening tools such as these gardening shears. Let's take them. As long as I'm not expected to do the gardening now. But of course. A staff approximately two meters long with a top made of bronze. Looks like something's missing there. Hmm. Take it. This picture seems to indicate that a ruby belongs in there. Take it. The sad remains of extinct cultures and of the last camping trip. <laughs> I can't discover anything of interest amongst this junk. Uh a small circular opening oh, in the God. ground. It's decorated with an ancient script, just like the picture on the wall. Another Indiana Jones reference. This figure looks a bit like a... Hmm. A small circular opening in the ground. A small fat figure. She's holding a mirror above her head. 
Looks ancient. A small fa A picture on a stone slab. It depicts a man in a robe with a staff in his hand. A jewel is glinting <laughs> in the headpiece of the staff. Some sort of light beam shining on it. Oh, I've got an idea. I think I'd better take the staff with me. It might come in handy elsewhere. Let's go back up now. Maybe we can use the staff. Oh, I know what to do. I think I know what to do now. The window's open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. Yeah. I don't believe it. Now I've ended up doing the gardening. It is indeed a gravestone. A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. A little gravestone. Hmm. A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. Kinski. Cheap, cheap. You'll never believe it. I found the secret door and I've been into the cellar. Hey, I could do with a bit more encouragement here, silly bird. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. You aren't a silly bird. Good luck, little one. And don't get up to any mischief. All right, so now we've got the, uh, the light shining down there. The shield reflects the light beam into the cellar. I wonder... What happens when we go back down? This the angle is wrong. The light beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror. But it's simply shining onto the floor. The light beam is reflected yeah, turn it. by. Hmm. I think I'd better take the staff with me. It might come in handy elsewhere. Hmm, I see. The small amounts of light from outside are somehow gathered in this box and exit as a light beam from the glass eye. Huh, not bad. Presumably gnome technology. A wooden tub about... Oh, great. Well... I'm stuck again. This figure looks a bit like a dog. One of its eyes is a large ruby. A picture on a stone slab. It depicts a man in a robe with a staff in his hand. A jewel is glinting in the headpiece of the staff. Some sort of light beam shining on it. Hmm. The light beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror, but it's simply shining onto the floor. The light... A picture on a... A jewel... That yeah, doesn't look like we can do anything. Oh, okay, look at the bars. Strong we didn't do that last bars time. without a door or lock. Behind it is a dark room. I somehow have to open the bars. This figure... Take the spider hasn't this Maybe it's got to do something with the grave. Let's see what else he has to say. 
Oh, okay, we can talk to him again. Mortimer! Yoo-hoo! I know you've never been down there, but there was a staff in the cellar, and there's a precious stone that belongs on the top of it, a ruby. Do you know where it is? But of course, hmm. Mortimer. You asked me to hide it for you. Don't you remember? Uh, I, I must have forgotten about that. Oh, what would you do without me? Could you please just give it to me? I just need it for a second. What? The jewel. And before you ask, I mean the stone that you put somewhere safe for mo me. And please don't tell me that you've forgotten. How could I forget that? You said it was very important that no one found the stone. Oh, okay. Now please can I have it back? Why would I give a complete and utter stranger Mortimer's stone? But I am Mortimer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're too tall, too thin, too hairy, and you have those those things there. <laughs> but I am Mortimer. Oh, don't. I've had enough of this nonsense. Give me the jewel. Never. Threats will get you nowhere. I'm a karate master. Oh. I'm a friend of Mortimer. He sent me to fetch something out of the cellar. I have never seen you here before, and I never forget a face. Please, it's urgent. I do not know whether I can trust you. I would only give a really good friend of Mortimer's the jewel. That's me. I saved his life. Well, maybe. Really? Hmm. If you are truly a good friend of Mortimer, then you will be able to give me the answer to the following question. What color is his underwear? It's red, of course. Red. He mostly wears red underwear. That's right! Red silk underwear. But I'm still not quite satisfied. So, what is his cat's name? His dead cat? His cat died some while ago. Her gravestone's outside. Her name was Kinski. It was a tomcat. The poor thing was always so happy playing with my bandages. Yes, Ew. very sad, very sad. But hopefully this proves that I am a good friend of old Mortimer, does it not? You have only answered one of my questions. Two? You answered two. Uh, you asked me about his underwear. But why would his underwear be of any interest to me? Oh, come on, don't change the subject. Are you going to give me that jewel now? No. Not yet, I have one last question. What did Count Grunschfeld or Pieperbock say to his adjutant Henninger shortly before the Battle of Budlerberg? Huh? What? Wrong. No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I am a trifle unsure about this too. It is a bit like a coded question. And do you know the answer? Of course. Mortimer told me. And you haven't forgotten it? I... Um... Um... No. So, what is the answer? <laughs> okay. I am your father. You talk about an offer you can't refuse. The answer to your question is two, three, four. Oh, what? Two hundred and thirty-four. I know all about that. Mortimer told me many times. Two hundred and thirty-four. What? How can anyone who is a good friend of Mortimer not know that? But how? What? Two hundred and thirty-four. Mortimer never told you that. 
Well, yes. 234? So it turns out that you aren't such a good friend after all, then. If you don't even know anything about THE 234. Oh. Oh, that! You mean that <laughs> 234? Yes, exactly. With that exactly. thingy? Precisely. I see that you are a good friend of old Mortimer's after all. Of course. Splendid. Now that you've proven that, can you give me the jewel? At last. <laughs> Many thanks. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> So let's head on down the cellar. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fits perfectly. Uh, let's try this then. We just have to move the statue. It's gotta be. It's gotta be there. Hmm. There are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. I've got to try and turn it back to its original position. No. No. There we go. 